I'm going to ask you some rapid fire know. questions. I think when you're like in politics, you're never allowed to say like where the best burger is or who has the best barbecue, right? You're not supposed to anger anybody. This, the, this might be tough for you then. All right. Favorite binge watch in the last year? Mm, I just finished the last season of Shrill. I love that with Aidy Bryant. She's incredible. Hilarious. Favorite thing you learned during the pandemic? Mm, uh, to be graceful with myself. Favorite wine or, be or beverage if oh, you're man. not a wine drinker? Um, the answer to that is yes. Just <laughs> if, I mean, if someone's bringing wine over, I'm there. Usually more of a red wine drinker. Cab, Merlot, Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> First Broadway show you're seeing when theaters open. Oh, I cannot wait to go back to Broadway. I don't care. Whatever I can get a ticket to, it doesn't matter. I cannot wait to be in a theater. Yeah, you know I've never been to a Broadway show, so. Ever in your life? No, not yet. Not yet. Um, but right. one day I will. We need to go to New York together. Yes, let's do it. What was the best thing about writing a book and what was the hardest thing about writing a book? The hardest thing was being vulnerable. The hardest thing was saying, I'm going to write about this. I'm, I'm choosing to open up, especially when you're sharing drafts of the book and people are saying, are you really sure you want to go there? Are you really sure you want to go down that road? And choosing to say yes. And oh, the best is just seeing how many people have responded to the book and have shared their own story and said, I'm so glad he talked about that. This happened to me too. That has meant a lot. I dive into a lot of subjects in the book that I oftentimes think people in politics don't talk about. Um, some dark stuff, some scary stuff, and then just some hilarious stuff, you know, like kissing a boy for the first time. And I just love hearing people's reactions and stories and, and feeling like we've created a little community where people feel like they belong. So I'm a dog mom. My dog's name is Stella. But what's Aww. your favorite part about being a dog dad? Oh my gosh, they make me laugh all the time. Right when we started this recording, Buddy was in here trying to eat the house plants in the corner. I mean, I'm, I, and I'm not as productive because every time you pass them, right, you're like, well, I, I guess I need to snuggle them because they look very cute laying there. Uh, they bring a lot of joy into our lives. Yeah, my Stella is like that. What kind of dog is she? She's a pit bull. Um, she's Aww. like a taupe color, and she is Beautiful. the sweetest thing ever. So, we'll give her a boop on the nose for me. I shall. All right. Uh, favorite thing about DC? I, I've been walking a lot. So go on these like ten mile walks. Just walk to the mall, walk the whole mall. So I'm excited that things are finally opening. Some of the museums are opening up. Um, because I've been waiting to, to, to dive into DC because I've never really done DC properly. I love walking through DC as well. It's very walkable and it's like, oh, yeah. it's not boring. It's really, it's really pretty, so. Beautiful. Last question, this is a hard one. <laughs> if you could listen to one song every day for the rest of your life, oh, no. what would that song be? One song, I don't know. It'd have to be something like, like Dolly or Whitney or, you know, something that's classic that you can just turn the music up to. Would you sing along or are you just going to listen? In the privacy of my own home, I would. <laughs> yeah, maybe not in public. I'm all over the place. It's very hard to to pick a favorite. Yeah. All right, Chastin, this was awesome. Thanks, Thank Chastin. Thank you so much for joining me today and for answering these questions. I look forward to hearing more about your book and um, all the things that you do. And I... Um, love following you on Twitter um, and <laughs> Thank you. Lo love watching you know the difference that you can make in people's lives um, in 280 characters or less. So, um, <laughs> well, thank you're you. awesome. Thank Thanks you so much. much for being here today. Thanks for having me.